It's a Scott, Scott Sands, Scott Sands Show. It's a mostly politics-free Friday here on the Scott Sands Show. Great to have you along. Be sure to subscribe to the podcast so you don't miss a thing. It's an anywhere, anytime on our free iHeartRadio app. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok sometimes, Twitch. I don't know. I think I'm on everything. Find me at Scott Sands. Fridays, we get to talk to our friend Emily from Fox 36, the host of Toledo Now on Fox 36. Fox and Friends. stuff happening this weekend. Yeah. Uh, A lot of stuff that was supposed to happen last weekend, now happening this weekend to talk about. Yes. Well, it's going to be a sunny and warm one to make up for last Friday. The last weekend, Saturday and Sunday, ended up being rather beautiful, a little cooler. But yeah, unfortunately, the 40th annual Walleye Fest, a lot of it went underwater that Friday. So they had to cancel and make that hard decision to postpone it to this weekend. So they actually did uh, the kickoff yesterday and um, they're going to be having a lot of the bands that were scheduled performing this weekend, you know, the fishing derby, the relay races, and there will be some carnival rides up as well as um, vendors out serving food every day. So uh, I kept it up on my top three weekend pick because I felt really bad that a lot of people, I mean, yeah, they had one day, they had Thursday, and then it was canceled Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So they get a part due uh, this weekend. There was so much rain last Friday and that uh, I think there were walleye swimming through the streets of Portland. <laughs> it, was, it was bad. But you're right, though. The rest of the weekend was gorgeous. I played played uh, golf on Saturday morning and Monday morning. Two terrific days. Lots of sunshine. Here, yeah. Not, not, not too hot. Like uh, I'm going out with two guys tomorrow to play at Bedford Hills. We're playing at eight o'clock in the morning because we don't want to be out there when it's 90 degrees. Yeah, I know. I am looking forward to bringing out the shorts though. Cause last weekend, yeah. So Saturday was beautiful. I went up to my girlfriends in Catawba and we ended up going to that Rocky Point winery in Marblehead. And it was gorgeous outside, but it was windy. Like we were in hoodies and jeans, but that's going to be a different story this weekend. So it's finally. Finally, a little bit like summer, I think. You know. So we got to. Yeah. The The Walleye Festival is back this weekend through Sunday. Fort Clinton and Waterworks Park. So that's. That, that's something great to support if you can get out there. The other thing going on this weekend, the summer kickoff party at Mommy Bay Brewing. Always a big deal. Great to have this back at Mommy Bay Brewing. Uh, the Oliver House, one of my favorite places downtown to go. Yeah, I agree. I love, I love that place. I love that you can kind of see the water um, or you can have a few drinks and then walk to you know, check out the, the scenery there. But yeah, so they're kicking off the Summerfest and it's just to get us ready for summer nights. So that's happening six to nine tonight, I believe. And the house band is going to be performing. And there's also going to be stools on drinks and food. And it's going to be in Growler Park. So you can bring your dog. And it's also a Dora d- district. So like I said, if you you want to take a stroll around that area or to middle grounds and, and get the nice view of the bridge and the mommy, you know, uh, I think it's going to be a lovely evening for that. I'm going to really try to get out there and, and uh, go to it. You've been there before you said you've done this. Yeah, I absolutely. And I, I didn't realize that the park had a name and Growler park is ideal for a park yeah. outside mommy Bay growing. Right. It's, yeah. It's, Let's name it after what everybody takes away from your growlers. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I think they have a new brew on top. Is it the baseball one? Or do, are you familiar with what? what? Uh, I haven't been to the brewery in a couple beverages of they months, have out. So I don't know what the, uh, 
don't know what they've got out now, but we'll have to sample. We'll get a flight of beers and dry them out. They're they're famous. Like I know they have a baseball wine. It's called something something baseball game or I don't know, but I remember having it last year. I think and that that's really delicious. So yeah, come out. It's free, free, open to the public, and uh, six to nine. So kick off summer nights at Summerfest. Mon- also happening this weekend, uh, and and we're on Zoom with Emily, which is a little, bit, a little bit, bit of a disconnect. Yeah, yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, sorry. Just a bit. Uh, the Putin Bay Music Festival is this weekend as well. So big events in in the Port Clinton, Putin Bay area. Putin Bay Music Festival. You can go there after you've stopped in uh, in Port Clinton for a walleye festival. Yeah. This is the the fifth annual. Am I reading that right? Putin Bay Music Festival? Fifth annual, yes. Yeah, yeah, the fifth annual Putin Bay Music Festival, and it's going to be taking place at the grounds of the Boathouse and Bar and Grill. And I don't think, you know what, I've never done a true Putin Bay. I like, you know, I got here right at the beginning of a pandemic, so... I've been when it's very like low key, but there weren't any musicians. I kind of was just driving by myself on the golf cart exploring, but this is something I, I, I would love to get out to tomorrow if I can. Um, it's gonna be all day music starting at 11 a.m. It's free as well. And um, there's gonna be grass folk music, blues, Zydeco. I hope I said that right. Is it Zydeco or Zydeco? No, it's Zydeco. Zydeco music and right. uh, bring a lawn chair, bring blankets, bring your appetite. Um, there's going to be refreshments as well, obviously. So, yeah, just uh, is there some good uh, Lake Erie act going I on? Um, I don't know that I've been to I don't know that I've been to Putin Bay since I moved here myself. I told my friends that's on my summer bucket list. I want to do a true but put in bay. Like I want to, you know, hop around. I want to get in one of those questionable. You know, I want to. I want to just have the full blown put in bay experience. Uh, the, the full so blown we'll experience is, is questionable. Something questionable always happens at Mr. Ed's. <laughs> right. Right. You're, you're yeah. very likely but to find t- something okay, so questionable with DJ Adub. That's right. I've heard a lot about this DJ Adub. I'm, I'm glad you just said his name because his name has been a uh, kind of uh, roaming around town, and I, I don't think I've experienced him yet. So uh, yeah, your, he your must be something. We'll, we'll cross at some point. And then on Sunday, you know, or any day this weekend, I just did my Toledo now on Shadell Arboretum and Gardens in Elmore, Ohio. And this place was really lovely. It's 17 acres of flowers, plants, trees, mixed in with garden sculptures. And they also have the world's largest museum of lithosphane. So I should point out right now, if you're listening, we're on, we're, we're on Zoom with Do Emily from Fox 36. And, and she normally does not talk that slow. We're obviously having some buffering issues with the zoom call so i just want to clear that up and yeah all of the weekend events are available on on fox36.com and you can find the the story that she's talking about about the arboretum look for the toledo now story at fox36.com and find her on facebook as well Uh, the arboretum a great place to go if your allergies really kick in like mine do mine do uh emily where we're starting to lose our Zoom connection. There you are. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, sorry. You were breaking up really bad, but you're looking great. It's great to see you every Friday. And there she goes. That's 
Emily's weekend picks. Get them all at fox36.com. It's the Scott Sand Show. <laughs>